as always, don't forget to check the video description down below. It's basically a store. Recently partnered with a school. If you know how the system on the car works, you can always figure it out. And it's a link for that. Also, parts and tools I use in today's video. And today we have, I believe it's a 2002 Mazda Protege. But what I'm doing is kind of like a general video. And this is if your car turns on and shuts right back off. This is a common problem you can see, especially if you just worked on the car. Um, a lot of your rubber intake hoses they over time um, it becomes really easy to break so if you change your air filter or you have to move take that air box off uh, and bend this tube right here it'll kind of break it so let's check it out so this is it the customer complaint was he turns the car on it turns on and shuts right back off now a lot of times when I hear that, I'm thinking like idle air control valve or something like that but this is the problem we have today so he started up when I got here and it shut off. I said, start up again. I put my hands around it and he started it up and it kept running. I was like, fixed it. <laughs> but um, the reason this is, this causes a no star is because your mass airflow sensor, it meters the air. Your car needs to know how much air is going in so it knows how much fuel to give it. If your car does not know how much air is going in, well, it's gonna shut off because it's gonna think it's getting the right amount of air and when you throw that air fuel mixture off, it's gonna shut off and that's what happens. So anything, any holes in your air system going into the intake, into the engine, if there's a hole from the mass airflow sensor out this way, like you can see you've got like a box here, you've got like this thing here, if there's a hole here, none of this matters, okay? Once the air starts to become metered from here back, anything, so if there's a hole here, obviously that big tear, um, if there was, you know, like, see this hose goes to your intake, this hose came off, um, anything that, where air could sneak behind this meter right here, your mass airflow sensor, uh, that will cause drivability problems. Sometimes if it's not as big as that, it may not cause it to shut off, but it'll, it'll run rough or act funny so anyways you can also also if you hear like a hissing or something you can you turn the car on i believe it it triggers like a p0171 171 and i'm just that's off memory but if you got that code and you're hearing a hissing what you could do take some carb cleaner always have a fire extinguisher you can get them for like 20 bucks at walmart um right beside you but you can spray towards the hiss if you hear the engine pick up, you'll know, oh, the the hole or the leak or whatever is right over here somewhere. And then you can look in that area specifically. Um, so that's also how you can find unmetered air. But anyways, that's it. I just had this nice little example to talk about, you know, the starts up but turns back off problem with this car. So if that helps, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe. Thanks for doing that. And I'll see you all next time.